Hey team, but a backyard hunting today. <laughs> I've um, tested positive for COVID, so have to stay at home or isolate for uh, five days. So um, really running out of shit to do. <laughs> so I thought I'd grab the old bow out and um, have a gandy. I actually bought a um, the GoPro mount there for a camera, so um, chuck on the stabilizer there and haven't used it yet. So might as well make the most of the time I've got off work and. Um, get a few of these things set up for the next hunt next hunt I go on will be a bow hunt so um, anything that moves that I can hit I'll be looking forward to uh, yeah, giving that a crack but um, basically it's just a off the shelf GoPro mount um, nothing special but you can actually swivel the top of this around 360 degrees so it works on handlebars and stuff like that as well I didn't really want to order a special bow mount online so um, at least this has got a few different purposes um, it's not too heavy um, obviously the camera is going to be heavier than the actual mount itself so um, yeah be interesting to see how it goes um, mate I haven't shot this bow for probably four or five months so yeah look out cats look out dogs <laughs> you might cop a stray arrow Oh, pretty happy with that team. That was 20 meters. So, um, yeah, can't really complain with that. Um, bit of fine tuning. I wasn't actually aiming that high. So, um, maybe if I, uh, yeah, maybe if I go to the next site down. The bow has three sights on them. Or if you're looking at it back this way, three sights on them. Um, top side, I normally sight at 20. Then, obviously, the next one down 30. One below that 40 meters um, as we all know it doesn't really work out like that in the field so yes a lot of uh, guessing do have a range find that I use in the field but at this close quarter stuff it's quite hard to uh, sort of find the time one the time to get your gear out range but also to being quiet enough you know fumbling around getting equipment out and stuff like that you're better off learning to know your distance by um, experience really by just getting out there and doing it or practice and then uh, yeah hopefully it all comes off i'm pretty happy with that i'll have a look at the footage from the um from the camera on the bow i'll have a look at the footage from the camera on the bow and see if it gives me the footage that i really want to uh produce videos with but it'll still be good to be able to capture the video from basically what i will be seeing as a hunter to then be able to check that on a video so everyone else can see what the hunter sees um the moment the arrow is released but yeah the old dice copter hiding I'll sit here for a few, uh, probably another 10 minutes, just chucking arrows at it and see how we go. Sweet, so I just reviewed the footage from the GoPro mount, which I'm happy with. Um, the only thing is, I think if I use the GoPro, or the GoPro that I use on there, I'll set up for a um, focus shot, so I won't have it on like such a wide angle shot, to try and zoom right in on the target, basically. At the moment I can see like the whole backyard. I really don't want it to pinpoint it as much as I can on the on the flight of the arrow and the trajectory of the arrow coming out of the out of the bow. So might sharpen that up a little bit and then everything yeah, we're good to go. Good to go for a different uh, different camera posse.